Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first edition of the Four Women in Science Festival, organized by the Fondation L'Oréal and UNESCO, and broadcast today on five continents. My name is Annabelle Mandeng. I am your Master of Ceremony. I have the pleasure to have with me Alexander Palt, Executive Vice President of the Fondation L'Oréal, and Shamila Nair Beduel, Assistant Director General for Natural Sciences of UNESCO. Alexandra. Thank you, Annabelle. It is a great joy to welcome all of you to our For Women in Science Festival. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we have seen how women scientists are essential when needing to respond to existential threats to our health, to society, to the planet. And still, women scientists meet tremendous obstacles in their careers and their research. Even if progress can be noticed, only 33% of researchers worldwide are women, according to the latest UNESCO report. This evolution is still too slow. Important barriers persist, and the glass ceiling remains a reality in research. Women's access to the highest level of responsibility and recognition is still rare. Since the creation of the Nobel Prize in 1901, women represent less than 4% of scientific Nobel Prize winners. The same situation can be seen regarding access to the most cutting-edge areas of research. In artificial intelligence, women make up only 22% of researchers. This is not just a problem for women, this is a problem for research. To be relevant, research has to be inclusive and needs all its talents to be mobilized. This situation is the result of systemic barriers, of unconscious bias, of self-censorship, but also of persistent sexism and discrimination at all stages of women scientists' careers. This is why the Fondation L'Oréal is working with UNESCO to support, promote, and highlight women in science. And with this first edition of the For Women in Science Festival, we also want to celebrate them and to show not only their breakthrough discoveries, but also their resilience. Indeed, Alexandra, gender equality is at the heart of the mandate of UNESCO. The world needs science, and science needs women. And one way of doing this is to showcase exceptional women. And this is what UNESCO and the Fondation L'Oréal have been doing for the past 23 years. We are committed to showcasing exceptional women in science, to make their work and talent more visible, and to inspire younger generations to pursue scientific careers. Women are not only hesitating to choose a scientific career, they are also leaving science for lack of equal opportunity in the workplace. This is one finding of the UNESCO 2021 Science Report. While the pandemic has demonstrated the ingenuity of women researchers, several studies show that female scientists, particularly those with young children and those in early stages of their careers, are hardest hit by the pandemic. We need to change these trends and we need to do it urgently. We need the models to, for women and girl scientists, and we need to put the spotlight on critically important scientific work done by female researchers across the world. 122 laureates, more than 3,800 female doctoral students, postdoctoral students have been supported and honored through, in 110 countries through the Laurier UNESCO for Women in Science program. UNESCO looks forward to carry out our joint work with the Fondation L'Oréal to further promote gender equality in science for current and future generations. Thank you, Jamila, and thank you, Alexandra. And now, let me tell you what we have in store for you. The agenda for this festival is organized around regions to give voice to the international diversity of women scientists and to welcome you from all over the world. Across the event, you can meet 40-plus extraordinary women STEM researchers, discuss their career journeys, and debate what holds women back and how to overcome biases and systematic inequalities. Indeed, resilience is something that these women scientists have in common. They have needed passion, but also courage, patience, and perseverance to stay the course to succeed. After today, you will be able to watch the replay of the festival content and more 
on this platform, don't hesitate to spread the word and share all these inspirational stories with your friends and families. And get everyone to vote for your favorite talks. Now, let's start right away with two inspiring examples of the extraordinary ex-contribution of women to science. <laughs> 